So it's that time of week where we've got to go and check on Zor. See what Zor's selling, see what we think of what he's selling, and where the heck is he? Well, this time, he's on Titan. So while we make our way to Titan, let me just explain to you why you'll notice I'm currently on the Xbox version. Okay, so let's just head over here to the rig, because I'm reliably informed that he is at the rig. Let's go over there. Okay, so on the 21st of this month, we're getting cross-play. Okay, now I normally use, as you know, my PlayStation characters for this stream because they're sort of a higher level. I've been concentrating on them. In fact, I stopped playing the Xbox version because I didn't see any point. If you're only going to be playing one set of characters, what is the point in leveling two completely different platforms up? Case there. So, while my PlayStation characters are 750 power level or thereabouts, my Xbox ones are still 700 because of that. However, something else has been recently learned and what that is on October the 1st when Shadow Keep launches because of the influx of new players and it's free to play every single piece of armor that you own is going to be boosted to 750 power level now that's good for all the new players and the game because the player base will go you know a lot higher but probably not so good for those guys that have grinded to get to 750 yeah so in other words it's sort of like they're giving it away free all the, all the effort you've put in but saying that I mean I don't know you gotta play the game ain't you so yeah are we not I'm a little bit put out by it but I'm glad there'll be a lot of new players coming in so what I'm saying is don't infuse anything guys, it's absolutely pointless infusing because all your gear is going to 750. Don't waste your resources, keep your resources up, don't infuse anything, even if your character looks absolutely rubbish, which, well, this version of mine does, so don't infuse anything, that's the moral. Okay, here is Zor, here he is again. Let's see what he's got. Is there anything new for us this time? I mean, he's done a lot of repeats lately, and oh, I'm seeing a lot of repeats again. We have Telesto. While it's a very good fusion rifle, it's a very old one, it's been in the game a very long time, it's got good impact. It says fusion projectiles attach and detonate a delayed void blast. Yep, it's good. I've used it a long time ago. So you've probably already got it, let's face it, unless you're new to the game. If you're new to the game, it's not bad actually. So consider it if you haven't got many other exotics. Aeon Swift. Another fairly old bit of kit here, um, not the best, you know, in my opinion. 23 shards, I'd probably not go with these. I mean, dodging grants energy to nearby Aeon Cultus. Mm, rocket launcher scavenger, they're not the best. I'd probably avoid that one on your hunter class, save your shards. And then we got Ver Variety's Brow. I always say that wrong, I always nearly say Versity. It's Variety Brow. Oh, well. Uh, the fourth magic. We got energy weapon kills, recharge grenades faster, and fusion rifle reserves. It's not particularly good exotic by any means. It's an old one again, but got one thing going for it. It looks pretty damn good. So if you're into the Destiny fashion, that looks pretty good. But it's not that good. So go from there. And what we got here, we got Stronghold. Now... These are a Titan Glove, uh, or Gauntlet, whatever you want to call them. And I've never actually owned these in all the years of playing it. I've never had this drop. So I haven't got these on PlayStation, PC, or on Xbox. So we're looking at, what we got? Clenched Fist, bonuses to guarding with swords. It's quite handy if you are running a sword with your Titan. I will probably pick these up on the PlayStation and give them a try out so on tuesday which is the 21st yeah i think i've got my date right there um i will basically use my playstation save on the xbox and uh, stream to mixer to see if it goes as smoothly as it should so in other words if i log in and my character's been deleted that won't be great let's face it um I just want to see if it's as smooth as it should be and see what it's all about. So I will do that, like I say, and see what's, see what's going on. See if everything works nicely. We'll do a menagerie or something like that. Street to mix it. See how it goes. So guys, a lot of changes. Lots to look forward to in Destiny for sure. But for now, that's where Zora is. That's what he's got. 
And if you're still creeping up, up power levels, I mean, you've got to October, so you might as well, you know, make use of it and go for it. Thanks a lot for watching. I will catch you guys again on Tuesday. Goodbye for now.